Don't be fooled by this elaborate diorama. The real horrors are buried deep underground. Every year, we're sprayed with billions of pounds of toxic aerosols. That's why you've got to protect your cellular matrix with Sulfur Shield Organic Sulfur Crystals, only from Survival Life. This satellite is but one of millions in the villainous cabal's interstellar quantum communications hub. Attempting to foil their diabolical schemes. Another boat? Or something more sinister? Masked behind holographic alien technology. Say goodbye to another $38,000 piece of military heart. Extraterrestrials have demanded animal sacrifices, and what they are not given, they take their lives. This is precisely why my friend in DHS bumped out to a secure location with like-minded fellow DHS agents. They saw the writing on the wall. Constantly reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world.
Not piloting, but bioelectric extraterrestrial military robots. Degree York Wright Mason. Ron Honey.
Anticipating a reprisal, the Predator flees. The NWO is still in hot pursuit. could only be captured with the best professional grade Swedish drone cameras. She successfully evaded the New World shock troops, at least for the time being. NWO threatens to execute Protocol 5. The Masonic forces will stop at nothing to maintain power. What she's already witnessed, the Predator lashes out against the Illuminous Boots deceitful agenda. <laughs> Government suppressed free energy source 
the electric great white. to nourish herself on the local farm. For this one, can't be won on an empty stone. I started this channel six months ago, only to be met with personal attacks by uninformed citizens like Bong Lord 69 who commented, what a dumb A-word, F-word, piece of S-word. Well, it continues in that vein for several paragraphs. Scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. Polysaccharides, sugar molecules that naturally revitalize ailing joints. Only Sharkalage has 1,000 potent milligrams in every capsule, and it's only from survival.
marking the target. You can tell that this is old World War II technology, due to all the flickering. All right, Admiral wants everyone back. The alien cabal is forced to give ground. But rest assured, they have already begun remarshalling their forces. Shark is never one to pass up a fat fiesta.
by the atrocities unfolding before you. This is just the sort of response I prepared for after dedicating myself to informing the masses about the real truth behind the world's The shark struggles to disentangle the Illuminist's web of fabrication and untruth. Our extraterrestrial overlords retaliate out of fear of exposure. The bull discovers that while he can breathe in both fresh and saltwater environments, he can't breathe in no water environments. believe that 300,000 years ago, the insectoids created to mine the Earth's gold. But this is absurd. We're clearly more interested in our copper reserves. is taking a keen entrance in an electrical transform. Transformer must have been powering NASA's insidious Project Blue. But how?
explosion has drawn unwanted attention. A patriotic Piscus must be swift to avoid capture. She should hurry, as trespassing on military property could result in a six-month prison sentence. W.O. doggedly pursues the fleeing predator. I haven't seen a fish this wily since Faye Moinkleman tried to catch that pike in northwestern Ontario. Factory Center registers the sweet smell of freedom. Bull shark is an animal of broad dietary proclivities. Now we see what the NWO's been hiding. Inside sources have ascertained its name. Moloch. This devious aquatic bioweapon is designed to disperse a mist of viral particulate. A potent combination of Ebola, anthrax, and Lassa fever. Within weeks, it will spread from Port Clovis to infect the entire world. Then, Big Pharma will reveal that they've developed a vaccine. The price? Every country must submit to the Insectoid Brotherhood. We must stop them before they can implement their demonic program.
Sunshine side effect, the bone sperm whale. Brotherhood knows that the war isn't won by conventional weapons alone. That's why they said the way. its big 17-pound brain proved to be just too much for the vicious but dim-witted shark. Let me be clear. If I'm ever found dead, I've been murdered for revealing the truth. I do not, nor have I ever, engaged in autoerotic asphyxiation. Bravo Survivor, 
the irradiated bone sperm whale.
coup d'etat by any means they deem necessary. impact with the angels.
the water have some mystical significance in their unholy ceremonial rites? Ship by ship, the Illuminati want to transform the Gulf. Once so vibrant, so full of southern rock and outlaw country cruises, into the dark Stygian waters of hell I'm being spied on by the Pakistani government. Just an update. I performed my own technical surveillance countermeasures and didn't find any bugs, hidden cameras, or GPS trackers. Yet. be long before the NWO makes the holding of precious metals illegal. Enemy's plans for a global fascist dictatorship are put on hold for now. The insectoids are rattled. Shark will soon reveal the truth of their agenda. Come at me, insectoids! I've just eaten a whole tube of nano silver toothpaste. I'm f***ing invincible! Lost, and the insectoids will carve us up for dark. If I see it, I'll let you know.
Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to stock up on industrial bleach before it's all confiscated by the big pharma criminal cartels.
multidimensional insectoid shapeshifter, Big Man. helicopters in this country. There's a new one being built every hour. So I ask you, what other... The shark refuses to subjugate herself to the insectoid's will, and thus is targeted as a threat.
You can be assured that the cyclopic eye of Big Brother watches us as we watch him.
The shark burst right out of the gate. Such beautiful control. Tricep rotations and oblique rolls are a great way to build those swimming muscles. like shape of the alien aggressor's ship. A subtle homage to Nimrod's Babylonian cult of sacred fish. The underworld order hates the shark because she dares to attack the very pillars that prop up their temple of lies.
into another training exercise for a future hostile takeover. The shadowy cabal despises the fish for her independence of mind and spirit. Mother of harlots and abominations, Barbara Terra Nova. weapon has reached America's shores, perhaps having already unleashed a rapid viral agent upon the citizen. Now, the NWO will hold the country rich, offering the vaccine in exchange for compliance. If there's no such thing as targeted weather warfare, then why am I occasionally inconvenienced by rain, snow, and excessive cold or heat?
These are Chinese-made rigs. If there's any catastrophic methane explosions in the near future, you can't tell me that's merely an accident. in pursuit of a dangerous shark. Those closest to it prepare for the possibility that they might come to it. This could be the bioweapons doing, sure. But first, perhaps I should consult my friend, a world-renowned expert on the subject of ancient giants. appears determined to disperse its infectious bodily fluids anywhere and everywhere. This may look like a friendly local bait shop, but it's actually a satanic temple of death, terror, and animals. What are these? My guess is powerful influencing machines designed to make us hate America and love The influencing machine is American. From its cell, no place safe there. A lot of fear. For the good old fashioned sheep. You really don't! Judging by the behavior of wildlife in this area, the bioweapon is also spreading estrogen-mimicking endocrine disruptors.
plot is just the beginning. The Rex 84 program is underway. The insectoids are rounding us up for their re-education. This is about saving lives, but it's also about safeguarding toys around. Saxitoxin-filled needle that I am prepared to use in case I'm captured for forced labor in the insectoid's copper mine. some good body spine alignment. Not fast enough, I'm afraid. Clearly, the NWO sunk this ship for trying to deliver food, water, and medicine to imperiled patriots.
Unlike some folks, I am not easily pacified by manufactured spectacles like senior professional golf tours. So begins another reckless campaign of extermination. Bounty for you in the Golden Shores area. Atomic Energy Commission Project, the irradiated electric great white. When radioactive particles pass through skin, they change the creature's DNA, resulting in superpowers such as electricity manipulation. That or leukemia. Currently doing a liver detox. have made clear their intention to overthrow private property. Extrajudicial killings of all owners of homes for the second bathroom are right around the corner. Mark my words. Shut down this broadcast under Executive Order 10995. Like most American bodies of water, has abnormal levels of aluminum, barium, and strontium. That's why you need the complete body cleansing power of Detoxinator Premium Ultra, only from Survival.
More of these machines dispersing mental poison from hell, creating a lumpen mass of propaganda drug Americans who'd rather watch Aubrey Dominique take the Coco Bob challenge than read the Constitution. There's no question that waffle-centric restaurants are a thinly veiled plot to topple the very foundations of our democracy. Why does our grid rely on these pollutant technologies? Because the government has suppressed the work of Nikola Tesla, whose research could have provided us with free energy forever.
The shark struggles, feeling its gills collapse in the thick gulf air. There you see it. The Ishtar Gate and Processional Way are being constructed to welcome all variety of otherworldly entities to seduce and deceive mankind. Have it on good authority that Bayou Buddies will soon play host to a FEMA DHS incarceration drill. Love books, but don't love to read? Audilist.com has over 150,000 titles you can start listening to today. Like Patricia DeRay's Cooking with Colloidal Silver. 50 easy recipes from casserole to skillets to sides. was prohibited by royal decree in ancient Fiji. But this is decided, not ancient Fiji. There's way more liquor. Day lenders. Forget, everything you see is just window dressing for the matrix. <laughs> These beaches were built by the initiates of the Dionysian Sun known for their pagan ritual catching some rays and scoping some veins. Apropos of nothing, I'd just like to remind you that the Founders specifically denied Congress the power to print paper currents. I have it on good authority that Port Clovis Mayor Wade Hibbert is a Rosicrucian Grand Master who regularly communes with a spirit of Saddam Hussein.
is just the beginning. Next comes the countrywide search and seizure of our weapons, gold stores, and these drive to struggle. Port Clovis is a powerful energy vortex, sacred to the Insecto. Now, who will protect us from our aggressors? Marine mammal parks are designed to anesthetize us from reality. This city, like so many across our once great country, has become an Agenda 21 cesspool. The insectoids have worked hard to ensure that they and their conspirators continue to occupy Port Clovis's positions of power, such as Planning Commission Director Intimidated by the shark's fierce love of country and implacable devotion to the ideals of liberty, the bioweapon flees to open water. There you see it. The Ishtar Gate and Processional Way are being constructed to welcome all variety of otherworldly entities to seduce and deceive mankind. All these recent oil spills are merely contrived events designed to cripple the Gulf's fishing industry. It appears that the bioweapon is not only carrying a viral agent, but the HPV vaccine as well. Port Clovis has long been a popular dumping ground for the military, thanks to its lenient regulations and low tipping fees.
Regarding these spills, I'm proposing complicity on the part of Mayor Wade Hibbard. You see, Hibbard owns 50 shares in Schlumberg, who's owned by Exico, who are partners with Saxwell Gold and Varcon, the manufacturer of oil dispersant emulsifex. Therefore, Hibbard made money on the cleanup. 